Hey, what's up, guys? I got a new, uh, I had two new combos for you today for my new build of uh, Red Eyes. Uh, not much has changed with this deck. We just got a new um, dragon who's like, uh, he's like a hand trap and extender at the same time, Miradora. But uh, that's not what this combo is about. It's about something completely different. Um, since Union Carrier is off, you know, I had to think of something to do with our Black Metal Dragon. But uh, in my uh, experimentations, you could say, I found something uh, else that you can do. Um, and uh, let's just get right into it. This combo needs one Black Metal Dragon, one World Legacy Guard Dragon, and then any discard. This is our discard. Doesn't really matter what it is. I mean, but as you're playing, you know, in an actual duel, you know, like uh, you actually discard something like Tempest or World Legacy Guard Dragon, that'll be more helpful, more active throughout the game. All right, so we're going to start by normal summoning our Black Metal Dragon. And then we're going to link it away for Link Rebo. This is pretty standard stuff. You know how it goes. We're going to search off of our Black Metal Dragon, getting sent to Graveyard. Uh, this first search is kind of important. The rest of them you can do in, like, any order. But, like, this one has to be, like, Retro Dragon. <clears throat> and then we're going to not activate our set. We're going to activate World Legacy Guard Dragon. Bring our Link uh, Black Metal Dragon right back. And then we're going to link him away for LP. And then Black Metal Dragon is going to trigger to search again. And then we're getting our Darkness Metal. Uh, we're going to use the second effect to move this over. And now in this zone, we're going to summon a dragon from our deck with Pisty, since him and Link Rebo both point there. And we're going to summon <clears throat> Seyfert. And Seyfert's going to pitch the retro dragon that we searched to search for a level 4 dragon. <clears throat> and the greatest level 4 dragon... Like right now, or the Collapse Serpent of Wifer Buster, they're just immeasurable. They're just, they just extend so much and they just keep going. It's just so plus. It's like two monsters for the price of one. We're going to banish our Retro Dragon to summon our uh, Collapse Serpent. <clears throat> and now, uh, this is where things get a little weird, but, you know, this is just off of the, the two card combo, so bear with me. We're going to link our Seyfert and our LP away. Uh, you could link Collapse Serpent all as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this part's a little, like... There's, like, three dragons that are all going to do the same thing, so it doesn't really matter. We're going to link for Romulus. Romulus is going to search for Dragon's Ravine. Um, <clears throat> and then we're going to link all three of these guys for a... Sorry, for three material Saryuja. Uh, if you were playing in, like, a regular duel, you'd have more extenders and whatnot. And then you'd be able to... Um, You'd be able to get a 4 uh, material uh, Saryuja. Where's Saryuja? I can't find him. Is that crazy? But yeah, you'd be able to get more material Saryuja and get the draw. That's very important. Oh, there he is. Sorry about that. Get the draw, which would be a lot more helpful. You know, we can put better stuff in the graveyard. But as of right now, that's not how things work. Uh, just off of this card combo, of course. Uh, Collapse Serpent is going to search. Uh, let's not forget about that. For... Actually, I haven't been saying it right. Yeah, I mean, the Wyver Buster, Collapse Serpent, the same guys. Uh, we're going to summon this Collapse Serpent by banishing our Wyver Buster from the graveyard. And we're going to link him away, uh, since it's a level 4 Lord Dragon, for <clears throat> our Pisty. And then Pisty is going to search for, I mean, summon from our graveyard the Black Metal Dragon from way back in the beginning of the combo. And uh, we're going to link these two. For a, oh no, not World Legacy Guard Dragon. We're gonna link the two of those since they're two dragons. For Heretic Seal of the Heavenly Spheres, and then Black Metal Dragon is gonna trigger the search once more. Not once per turn, guys. Very important. And we're gonna add Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. I, I love the artwork of this guy, and it's really nice to finally like get a use for him. I don't know why I keep moving him, so you guys can't see him. He's the goat, absolute greatest. He's, he's like definitely cool than Darkness Metal. Where was I? Um, so are you just going to summon Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon? And the Darkness Metal Dragon is going to summon our Black Metal Dragon back in the graveyard. Uh, and you're going to link the two of them off. It doesn't have to be these two. But these two are dark monsters with different names. <clears throat> for our Beat Cop. And Beat Cop. Oh, Black Metal Dragon is going to search one once more. We're going to search for another Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. But... <clears throat> Beat Cop, when it's summoned by two dark monsters with different names, you can tribute a monster and put a, to uh, a counter on a card, and it protects from being destroyed by a battle card effect. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
that counter like means like nothing. It's not important, not, like the slightest. It's the tribute effect. But uh, just to get a little. Oh, all right. <laughs> there. I get there's water. All right, so we're gonna activate Ravine just because um I like to put the counter in Ravine just because Ravine's gonna stick around. So we're gonna use our one discard, and then from Ravine we're gonna send World Legacy Guard Dragon to the graveyard. And the uh, beat cop's gonna tri tribute uh, Heratic. Put a counter on Ravine, which is way off camera. And now Heratic's gonna trigger to summon a any dragon from our deck. So we're gonna summon Red Eyes, and then we're gonna tribute this Red Eyes and not knock over the camera. Summon a Red Eyes Darkness Dragon. Uh, it's a very easy card to summon. You tribute to Red Eyes, but that's like. And he gains 300 attack for every dragon in the grave. He's not like the best effect, but he does his best and he looks cool. Next, we're going to banish our World Legacy Guard Dragon from the graveyard. So summon a normal monster in defense position to a zone that a link monster points to. So we're going to summon that same Red Eyes under Saryuja. And we're going to attribute it to summon our second Darkest uh, Dragon. Not once per turn, because it's old. And we're going <clears> to <throat> overlay these two. Because Darkness Dragon, for no good reason, is a level 9 monster. And we're going to summon our Calamities in defense position under Saryuja. And we're going to sink, uh, sink, sink two Link monsters. What am I, crazy? We're going to link our Collector's Rare and our Saryuja for Predator Plant Verte Anaconda. And we're going to activate his effect. And send Red Eyes Fusion, Dark Magician, and Red Eyes from the deck. And summon our... Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon. <clears throat> so we're able to summon Calamities, Dragoon. Uh, Predator Plant kind of means nothing. And we have Ward Legacy Guard Dragon in case, I don't know, something weird happens. And more importantly, we have Dragon's Ravine with the counter on it. Yeah, a counter. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, I don't think this is too bad for like a, a two card, a two and a half card combo because you need the discard. Because you get the, you know, you're stopping them, their monsters for a whole turn. And... If they have something to stop your your stop or anything too threatening, you have Dragoon, and it's a it's a pretty it's a pretty moderate board, but it's kind of hard to get over, especially since it's coming from Red Eyes, so it's a little tough to to beat over this. Uh, should I cut it and then? No, All right. Oh man, I gotta like take everything apart. <clears throat> this next combo is the same one as before, like way way back in the day. With, uh, this is just off of Black Metal Dragon and like one discard. Uh, that combo used to end off on Dragoon and then Union Carrier. But the Union Carrier was equipped on Spreader Plant. So it wasn't like that serious. But, you know, I did my best, man. What do you expect from me? <clears throat> so starting out, we have Black Metal Dragon and any one discard. Uh, we're going to normal summon our Black Metal Dragon. And then we're going to link it away. And we're gonna link it away for. <clears throat> well, we're gonna search for this. It's, it came up first. We're gonna sink, link it away for LP. I always like to link it away for LP instead of Pisty, because uh, it's LP's like bringing them out from the deck. You know, it's like the same purpose. You know what I mean? So we're gonna banish the LP to special summon our Black Metal Dragon or Darkness Metal Dragon, and then use his effect to summon him out. And uh, next, we're gonna link the two of them away. For Romulus, and then we're gonna search for Dragon Ravine off of Romulus, and then next our Black Metal Dragon is gonna search for <clears throat> Malefic Red Eyes. <clears throat> Malefic Red Eyes is a very um, interesting effect. Well, summoning condition. Uh, all you have to do is banish a Red Eyes Black Dragon from your deck and just special summon him. But he gets destroyed if you don't have a field spell. So we're gonna. Oh, sorry, that's out of frame. So we're gonna activate Dragon's Ravine. And then we're gonna special summon our Malefic Red Eyes. And we're gonna discard our card. Or the uh, random discard card. Sorry for hitting the camera. And we're gonna send. Oh, which one is it? And we're gonna send any dragon from our deck to the grave. Which in this case. Is going to be Tempest, Dragon Ruler of Storms. Uh, just for the sake of this combo, to summon Tempest, we're going to banish Black Metal Dragon and Darkness Metal 
which are two things you really don't want to banish, but in this case, that's that's like all we have to work with. And it um, summons our boy. Uh, they're both level 7, so we're going to overlay them for Draco Sack. And now, uh, this should look familiar to you guys, but um, this is where things start to turn a little bit. Uh, we're going to detach this for two tokens. Uh, no affiliation, no flex. We're going to use these as tokens. <clears throat> if that's okay with you guys. Uh, the two tokens, we're going to link them away for uh, IP Mascarena. There you are. It's not, it's not collected. And it's not Starlight Rare, but you know we're trying our best out here. Uh, next, we're going to link away our uh, Mega Phantom Beast Draco Sack and our Dragoonity Knight Romulus for a Fretter Plant Verte Anaconda. And we're going to use Anaconda's effect. Bring out our Big Boy Dragoon. Send our Red Ice Fusion, the Dark Magician, you know, usual suspects. And this is what our end board is going to look like. But of course, during your opponent's turn, you're going to IP Mascarena. At least I hope you would. And um, <clears throat> link it and the Predator Plan away for the big boy uh, Avermax. Uh, I really like this board because it's like, not only do you have to deal with a Dragoon, you have to deal with an Avermax. And it's like, if you, if, you, if you can out one, you can out the other. But like, outing both of them at like the same time is like, you got to be pretty immeasurable. I mean, you just get droplets or dark ruler no more and lose. But like th these two are just so intimidating, just how big they are. You could always, you could also sub this out. Someone told me for Appaloosa, bow of the goddess. But w what are you scared of? Like a two, a two negate Appaloosa or Magnet Crusade Avermax. Like this guy, this guy literally beats him, <laughs> and like they're both like mad good. But yeah, that's uh, that's our two combos for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope you guys uh, have some feedback on what I can do to change this. Uh, thank you for watching.